Now, we're looking at insider abuse and uh, what is insider abuse. I'm sure those of you who don't know me have been wondering what it is. We're looking at what it means, where it happens, and what has, what has it led to, what, is, what are its consequences. I, I have something here talking about insider abuse, especially concerning banks. And it comes, comes with warning signs. It says, insider lending personal funds to customers or borrowing from customers. Insider involvement in silent trusts and partnership or partnership and or shell corporations. Insider appears to receive special favors from institutions, customers, or shows unusual favoritism towards certain institution customers. Well, uh, this may all look like a lot of big language to you. We have some people to break it down for us right here on the program. Right, my, ex my extreme left first a financial analyst. Uh, I haven't had him on this program mm -hmm. in almost two or three years. Tokpe <laughs> <laughs> Faswa. Tokpe Faswa is uh, the CEO of Global Analytics and, of course, a financial analyst, renowned financial analyst in Thank Nigeria, author of books. Tokpe, welcome. Now, let's. We also have a legal practitioner just beside me here. He is Tolu Ol Babaleye. Tolu Babaleya is a legal practitioner based in Abuja. He'll be looking at it from the legal point of view, insider abuse. Let's start with you, Tokwe. What is insider abuse? Well, okay, in general, I think it could be termed, I'm not a lawyer, though. You <laughs> know, the lawyers have their own uh, uh, peculiar definition of things. Uh, but basically, as a practitioner, you know, when, especially when talking about the financial sector, uh, it's a scenario whereby you use either information or, you know, or processes, or even material resources, okay, um, to your own advantage, especially to your own pecuniary advantage, um, you know, just because you are there, just because you have access to them. Uh, when you use those information to your advantage in, in an inappropriate manner, when uh, such information or processes or material resources are deployed by you um, outside the jurisdiction of the law, uh, in order to make yourself or your associates uh, richer for, for, for any, uh, you know, one, one way or the other. So basically, that's what it's about. As pertains to the financial sector, uh, you can look at it at several, several platforms. You can look at it in terms of, okay, the board level, what kind of abuses can take place in, the, in that area. You know, there are instances where board members put the management under pressure uh, to, to, <laughs> to swing one way or the other. Uh, a typical case in point, which just came to my mind right now, is the Andy Uba Koscharis, I mean, uh, what's sorry, not uh, Ifa Uba. <laughs> Ifa Uba Koscharis case. Um, okay. According to the story told by uh, Mr. Maduka, okay, who's a renowned businessman in Nigeria and who had been a bank director for ages in this country, uh, that the, the, many the, banks, not only one the, bank, yeah, not, not only one bank, said the, 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 the transaction was not bankable in his own word and that nobody will touch uh, Mr. Uba. But that because he felt that, okay, the man was a changed man, and because they happened to be from the same Navy, he took him to a certain bank and they disbursed uh, X amount of money. As we speak today, about 21 billion is in contention. Now that tells a story that um, uh, the, f the first C of credit, which is character. In fact, you could actually say, with a bad character, forget any other thing. If so if you say someone has a bad character that he won't pay, or he's not a man of integrity, in banking you don't touch them. But you can see a scenario where a board member actually used an insider uh, because I know the MD, uh, it's my bank, I'm influential in this industry, I can get them to do, do and undo. And of course, apart from that, board members can actually influence positions, they can even influence the, you know, share allocations, they can do a lot of things. You are talking about only the top, can That's insider abuse ab happen yeah, at the let's bottom? Look at the <laughs> management level. At the management level too, you'll be looking at loans. I mean... <laughs> Hi, being one, being a person who had played in the industry, I know some of the things that happen, you know, whereby, you know, at the management level, at director level, at general manager level, people, people actually position themselves to give out loans and collect a kickback. Now, when you, when you give a loan and collect a kickback, you have actually jeopardized that loan, I've been issue. If you give out a loan and take 20% back of principal, then the man is not under obligation to pay back. And when the thing comes to brass, that's why you, high, you see a high level of, uh, of, of bad loan ratio uh, in the industry. And of course, there was also a very peculiar situation before this advent of the, uh, of course, which we got to know when uh, Mr. SLS, you know, Sanusi came in. A scenario where a, a bank MD, for example, can purchase a property in a different name 
okay, or in one of his company names, purchase low maybe at 80 million naira and offload to the bank at a billion naira overnight or in a few days or in a few weeks time. So I can use my company to purchase different properties and then offload on the bank at a much higher and take the spread. So you can see the kind of insider. And now, however, now at the operational level is what you probably will hear. It is also insider abuse. You put someone in a, in a position as a, as a cashier or as a cash officer or as the, the ma operations manager in charge of the vault. Okay, if someone could go in there and take cash that is not meant to take, it's, it's called fraud, right? But it's also insider abuse because he's in charge of that, of that cash. And he had decided to abuse the trust. So it's a criminal breach of trust. Of course, what you hear most often is, this, is are those smaller cases. Uh, because usually the way the system is done is that it is skewed in favor of the guys at the top. I'm sure there are so many. I'm about. sure there are so many. I have about 50 of it right here. Looking at it from the legal point of view, it, does it coincide with what the legal term of insider abuse? I mean, he has talked from the financial aspect as a player in the banking industry. Well, uh, thank you, moderator. He has said it in, a, in the general language, what I would call lima language, okay. that insider abuse is when you use your office to benefit yourself in an improper manner. Yeah. In legal parlance, we call it abuse of office. Okay. When you use an office, I mean, to, to influence something which ordinarily you are not supposed to influence in your own favor. That's what we call insider's uh, abuse. And when you look at, because we are looking at bank here, so when you look at uh, the law regulating banking in Nigeria, we have the Central Bank of Nigeria Act. The Buffy Act. And we have and a Banking Buffy. and Other Financial Institutions Act of 2004. Both laws, st I mean, stipulates what <laughs> and what are insiders' uh, abuse. When you look at Section 2, Subsection D of uh, Central Bank Act, it says that one of the objectives of Central Bank is to ensure good financial regulation for Nigeria. That is, the Central Bank of Nigeria must control all the banks to ensure and make sure that, that, that there is no insider's uh, abuse. Then when you look at the Banking and Other Financial Institutions Act of 2004, which is called uh, BOFID, you look at the whole of Section 18, so Section 1 to 11 of the Act, has to do with uh, insider's uh, abuse. abuse. What, for example, the bank is not, the, the, uh, the law is not saying that a banker or a director of a bank cannot benefit from a loan from the same bank. But it simply says that you should declare your interest. If you have declared your interest in, to the board of director in a meeting, you are allowed to do it. But what you, you find out in Nigeria is that people do not declare their interest. That is why I will go back to the scenario painted by my friend, sorry, on before, the case you, of be, before you access be, bank, before you go to that scenario, yes, uh, the, 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 it also says, I believe, because you are the lawyer, that the director must not take more than ten percent. The single obligor is ten yes. percent, more yes. than ten percent of of the, the shareholders' funds. Funds. In that thing. is what, and we see many bank directors taking more than this. That is what we call insider's abuse. Okay, that is the, the same scenario we have in access bank, Kosharis. Imokwede and the uh, uh, Maduka, Maduka a scenario where you you loan out, I mean, uh, what is more than even 10 obligo at, at, a, at, a go. at a go. You know, it's a serious insider's abuse, which I believe by now heads are supposed to have ruled. Well, heads have ruled. I have no. a letter here which says that uh, Cosmos Maduka has been removed as director of access my bank. brother that is when, not when was that? that is not uh, i have a letter here yes you are correct and uh, uh, three million naira was charged to access bank and three and i have the cbn letter here That's which says that because yeah. uh, yeah. it, it wasn't even only cosmos baduka who was guilty of this in access bank yeah. we have one benga or your body tunde follow with you and all of them took they more than 10 percent i have a, a cbn letter here uh, 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 finding them for three million naira, and of course they have paid the three million naira. They paid the three million naira on the 9th of August in 2012. My brother, that is not the kind of head that should have ruled in Access Bank. The three million naira and the removal of uh, uh, Maduka as a director of a central bank is not enough. That is not what Section 18, 18 of Bofid stipulates. Section 18 of Bofid is so Section 1, so Section 3, 
8 and 11 specifies insider's abuse and the consequence. The consequence is that the director that is guilty or the management, I mean, a member of the, of the board that is guilty, that is found guilty of, the, of an offense of insider's abuse, is, a, is liable to be jailed for three years or a fine of 100,000 or both. That is what section 11 of a... Uh, Buffet. So we are saying that the CB. Yes, that is what is supposed to have been done. Yes, that's usually the by problem. Now, with the law. By now, my brother, by now, <laughs> CBN is supposed to uh, to have uh, uh, arrest all the people involved. So why are they just charging a cell bank a patchy sum of three million? No, this was the same no, offense. No, no, to, to that that law, that's yeah. the problem with the law. Maybe according to what they say, they say the law is an ass. Right? Yes. You know, so the law says. Uh, you jail them or you ask them to pay 100,000 fine. It's just like the case that was judged The yesterday. pensions case. <laughs> okay, the man took $203 million. Then the law says, okay, we're going to charge you to, 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 to two years jail or you have an option to pay $250,000 fine. Of course, the man just told his, he tell his PA, so give them <laughs> some of that change there. You know, so that's the law. The truth is that as a matter of a court process, you know, justice had been done in that instance. In this instance, too, if the law says you are liable to pay 100,000, CBN could have said, go and pay 100,000. Okay, so, but you see, I don't know Excuse how it me. works, but, right. but for me, that, that's not the issue. You know, we cannot probably, I for one would think that that case is still under investigation. You see, because it goes a little bit beyond that. Beyond just if, the if, fine. You, if you actually said, oh, if, for example, if you sent the MD of Access Bank to jail, it doesn't mean that the monies that have been given out are going to come out because it's in jail. Mm. Now, the point is that it's a process that has to be, and I'm not inside CBN to know just how far they have gone, but I'm pleasantly surprised that at least, you know, you are showing me this letter today to the extent that at least some steps have been taken because mm. I felt that, you know, in, from my own perspective as, as an ex-banker, I mean, I was shocked by the entire case. And I saw clearly a scenario whereby, you know, the first C of credit, like I said before, character. You can't breach character. If you say someone is your brother from the village, it's not enough to go and give him it. Of course, it's, that's not the entire story. Of course, Mr. Uba came with his own side of the story to the extent that, look, we entered into this business transaction together. Everybody says we're open. In fact, he said, look, I'm not even owing the bank. I'm on, I saw him on the show, I think, on Mr. Benga's show on this, on this channel, you know, to the extent that, look, I'm not even owing. Now, you now see that there are a lot of complications yes, there. Yes, going on. Yeah, now so now, except we have all the information in terms of exactly how much is outstanding, exactly in what way those transactions were carried out. Are there transactions that are on balance sheet and off balance sheet? You see, that's, you begin to see, you know, for example, that I, there was a case of some LCs and so on and so forth that were opened, mm -hmm. which were probably nev maybe never confirmed or maybe, you know, never made it through. Are there obligations from there? Which will, co co you know, which will, well, which will, which will my eventually, my you know, eventually uh, without, uh, uh, you know, it's so shocking that I, I'm looking at something in 2009, 13 banks failed yes. because of insider abuse. abuse. And it's so shocking that after the failure of banks in recent years, yeah. because of the same insider abuse, where people have been jailed, it continues in the banking industry. My brother. Nigeria is not a serious country. Nobody would take Nigeria businessmen or Nigeria business environment serious if we continue in the way we handle, I mean, criminals with kid gloves. We do respect criminal in court because uh, in this issue, Maduka has not been found guilty. So when I say criminal, I mean uh, in court. I do not really refer to anybody. anybody. Now, the problem we have in Nigeria is that we handle this issue with kid gloves. If it is were to be a place like China, the man that was, I mean, uh, jailed for two years for stealing over 23 billion will have been dead by now. <laughs> and that is why China, Chinese are serious businessmen. But you discover that people are, I mean, they have lost faith in Nigeria. No investor wants to come because there is no certainty in the business environment. For example, we are discussing insider's abuse. You have discovered that somebody issued out a loan without collateral. He issued out a loan to himself. More than single obligor, I mean, that is allowed by the law. You know, you are, you are leaving the man alone, you are pursuing the bank. You have told Access Bank, go and pay 3 million naira. What happens to the person A? The people behind, I mean, the problem. What have you done to them? They are working free men. 
But of course, the, 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 the CBN doesn't from have this, any obligation from this letter, to... Or, CBN has the, the obligation. It is the duty of the CBN to tell security agents to go into action. It was CBN. It was Sanusi that, uh, that, uh, that ordered the arrest of uh, Mrs. Cecilia, Cecilia Ibru. We are in this country. It was Sanusi that ordered the arrest of uh, Akin Bola. We are in this country. They can only refer to the EFCC. Yes. Why can't they refer this one to the EFCC? Are that is sure, what we are, are saying. Sure it's not there. That's the it's not have, there. We have to be. We have to be. See, <laughs> well, we have to be sure. sure. See, see, what are we talking? You know, I mean, I would probably say that. You see, insider abuse goes beyond access bank, coast charities, and whatever. Yes. No, no, no. Uh, the the said, to... said with particular reference to access bank. That is what you said when we started this oh, uh, okay. no, well, discussion. I, well, well we, we, we just yes. mentioned we no, mentioned no, no, no. the I, I even came up with the example. But yes. Uh -huh. The point is that see I, I would I would want us I would want us to you know to, to look at the entire ramification of insider abuse and why how it can be stopped. Yeah. In my view that's that's the issue. Otherwise it becomes a personality issue, which yeah. I personally don't like getting involved in personalities, yeah. uh, especially um, given the fact that there are, there are facts of the case that we may not have here. And I'm not a lawyer, neither am I an investigator, okay? Um, I would probably say again also that um, um, I think that if we look at the 2009 event to date in terms yeah. of supervision of banks, yes. um, if I must tell you that, um, that we were able to do some things in Nigeria for which you were not credited for. Uh, in terms of taking personal liability from some of those bankers that were sacked, uh, in the United States and even in the UK, they were not able to take the personal liability, hold people personally responsible, take their properties, and so on and so forth, in those jurisdictions that we were able to do here. Uh, for me, to an extent, I believe that uh, you know, the, the, our central bank has not been given enough credence for, for what they were able to do, whether by default or by, by, by in a structured manner, whatever At least may be. In, you know, in, but, but in those but days, probably this saying, wouldn't have been found out. And it wouldn't have been punished. It wouldn't have been an issue, you know, yes. because the truth is this. I mean, I, I went into the banking industry in 1992. These things were there. We remember the days, by 1994, there was a meltdown in the Abacha days. Yes. yes. In fact, and what we will find out, I mean, of course, in those days of uh, Forum Free and all that, all these, uh, you know, what we found out as a then was that a bank would just collapse overnight. And people will get there trying to withdraw their money and they, have, they find it impossible to get their money out. And everybody gets referred to the NDIC to collect 100,000 naira. Mm. Okay, that was it then. Now we are living in an era whereby at least the central bank takes proactive decisions. Okay, because of course this ties in with the issue of whether they want to take independence or not. Uh, it ties into the issue of what the uh, House of Rep members are, are trying to mute. Yes. That, oh, take the banking supervision out, out of there. Of I want to look at those issues, okay? So the, 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 these are the core issues. So I've, I've talked to you about the board level kind of abuses. In fact, one very critical aspect of board level abuse, which we haven't mentioned and which we must mention, is the manipulation of shares in the market. Of yes. course, remember the case of Union Bank and Peter Ololo, where they were giving him money in order to pump up their shares yeah. because they wanted to go into the market. In fact, and when you... When you union bank that and it wasn't that. only Union Bank. In fact, <laughs> many other banks, other banks, many banks were involved in, in that. This calls to question the issue, the, issue of, the, issue of, the issue of supervision. How do you want to go into supervision yes. going forward? Do you want to consolidate supervision into one body? Do you want to splinter them? Do you want to have an FSA kind of... Uh, scenario where in the, in, in the UK you have the financial sector uh, as a, you know, authority or do you want to have a jurisdiction like the US where the Fed supervises some, uh, the, 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 the commodity, the SEC supervises some, mm. you know, because the banks are also listed. Okay, so what about the cooperation between the two? Okay, now, however, there's one very critical thing I must mention before my I stop. Sorry, no, which, one, comes one about, which, which talks one about synergy among all the exactly. regulatory now, bodies. Now, now, please, now, please. now, let me let you know one very critical thing I must mention because I'm more of the underdog kind of person. I always think about the underdogs, the people who are way down there. The truth is that between the time I joined banking and now, I left in 2005 when Soludo came with the idea of banking supervision, I mean uh, consolidation. And the consolidation to me, I felt that, you know, that it was too charged. Mm. People were pumping so much money. And of course, the bubble was built. And the bigger the bubble, the bigger the mm, bust. Yes. When it eventually went down. Imagine, at the time this uh, new central bank governor came in, the kind of bubbles people have built. Banks everywhere. In every street, people were buying two, three branches. For what? And the kind of pace that they were collecting. Now, let me, know what has, uh, let me tell you what has happened to banking. In the time we joined banking, every one and a half years, if you worked hard and you knew what you were doing, you get your promotion. You were in banking, too. Yes. 
In fact, before we joined, it, those who joined in 89-90, every year you got your promotion. Today, what they have done is, one, they have created so many levels that anybody going into banking now, if you don't know anybody at the top, you are done for. You will have management training, one, two, three. And it will take you three years to move from one to the other. Nobody is speaking for those people. Assistant banking officer, one, assistant banking officer, two, three. Banking officer, one, two, three. Assistant yeah, manager, senior, one, two, three. Yeah, senior banking officer. Senior banking officer, one, two, three. Please let us. Now, by the time you are 50 years old. Excuse no, he's, me. He, he, no, he's, he's, he's part of the I'm coming somewhere. I'm coming. No, listen. By the time you are 50 years old, you find yourself you are still maybe a banking officer. Now, you put that kind of person in charge of money. You say he should not take money. That is inside, that's his own insider abuse. Mm. People are now having to, if they have OND, they will probably use OND to get into the banking sector, even if they may have a master's. Some of those people you see counting cash. They hold master's degree, but they can't get a job to get it with their OND. You keep them in that level for so long. You pay them a paltry amount of money. The directors are earning a whole lot of money. They are protected. Insider abuse, because they, they are in charge of the system. They can pay themselves any amount of money. So you can see that okay. he's expanding the no, view of no, insider see, abuse. I don't do narrow. I don't do narrow topics. If you said a narrow topic, I wouldn't even come. But mind you, on one hand of the spectrum, you have directors paying themselves humongous amounts of money, manipulating the system, and generally largesting. If there's a need to wit staff, they wit the guys at the lower end of the market. And now, at the guys at the lower end of the market, they are frustrated as it is. Banking is not what it, 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 it used to be anymore. In fact, there's no hope for those people. And therefore, you have a systemic problem. So whereas the, ce the, the central bank can continue to you know, supervise the banks at the level of the board and management, I think they need to give a thought to the structure of banking these days. You were in banking. I was in banking. We know exactly what's going on. These are the this things that mean. dovetail. It's called corporate governance. If the corporate governance does not take care of people's career progressions, if it's focused only on the guys at the top and how much they can grab, of course, it's not all about loans. So the guy who can give out the loans to those who is not supposed to give, does that. The guys who can also pifer the cash, that's why you go to a bank, you collect money and you get you find out that five or six is missing. Yeah. It's all inside our abuses. The guy in the cash and teller who pifers that money has abused his trust. Yeah. So you he, see, there's a need to have a holistic approach to, to the, the subject. Whole, other, uh, and then not where? be boxed into the access bank issue. I think where? they where? can you sort you themselves out. Uh, why did the horizon now? Mm. I agree with you, but you are the one who brought the issue of uh, access bank, and I have to say what I know about it. We are talking of insider's abuse, and you raise an issue on how we can prevent insider's abuse. And from the legal perspective, I'm not a banker. I've never worked in bank, and I don't think I, will, I can work in any bank again, except if I become a managing director of uh, any bank. <laughs> of your local, yes. local bank. Any bank. It can be local, it can be international. <laughs> but I know that one day I can become a managing director. So, but as of today, I cannot work in any, I'm not working in any bank. Now, the insider's abuse that I know, that has been activated by Bofid, I mean, how to prevent it has been stipulated by the same law. Okay. But why, the question now is, why are we not following that law? If we want to prevent the insider's abuse, let us go and implement our law to the letter. Can the you give us a few of law, what, okay. how, how we should prevent it? Thank you very much. When you look at Bofid, it is the law that is regulating banking uh, system in Nigeria. And you also look at a, a Central Bank Act. It is the law that is regulating the activities of commercial banks. Now, Bofid stipulates what and what and what role should bank manager play, uh, the directors of a bank, what should they should do, there should be of duty, then when they have an interest in a particular transaction in a bank, what and what should be done. Buffett has not said that as a director, you cannot trade with your bank. No, that is not what the law is saying. The law is saying that you have to be above board. You must divest your own personal interest. And it must not conflict with the corporate interest of your bank. That is what Buffy is saying. And it is saying that declare your interest. For example, if you want to obtain a loan, the, is, the bank is, I mean, the, the law is not saying as a director that you cannot obtain a loan from your bank. But it is telling you that please tell the management of the bank your interest in the loan. If you have done that, you have not contravened 
any law. You can go ahead if it is approved in accordance with the lay down regulations and procedure of such loan and advances. But where you fail to do that, you have contravened a particular section of the law. And, and, law, and yeah. therefore, do you think and therefore, that, and what therefore, happens? And yeah. therefore, yeah. if you contravene a particular section of that law, you are guilty of an offense as created by the law. But it has to first go through the courts. That, hold on. Hey, right? Hold on. You cannot be guilty of an offense if you don't go through a court. And it then is when only it gets a court to, of law. Now, let, let me interject, yes. sir. Let me interject. You see... I, when it gets be, to one, no, no, you be, want to make be, the point. Be just make the point. Sir, let, make the point that you want to make. <laughs> when it gets to the point, you, 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 it's like a this, question. Not just not ask me. This because, no, 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 uh, wait. I, I, because I, I, yesterday, yesterday there was a judgment. I did come to argue. Hold on, hold on, my brother. Hold on, my brother. Let me just make a point. Yesterday, because you have said one thing, that somebody stole 23 billion and he was asked to pay 250,000. It does not end like that. Nigeria is too sensational. Judicial system or judiciary system as a procedure. That's a procedure. The man went through a trial. There was a, I mean, he pleaded guilty. And apart from the fact that he was fined in option of a, a jail, I mean, term. 750,000. Yes. He was made to forfeit everything that the man has ever made from that uh, illegal transaction. The man has admitted that, yes, the transaction is illegal. And I confess, that is a remorse. Is, what is the cost of what he forfeited? I don't know. You see, Excuse me, please. Uh, uh, the, uh, what is in the cost of what he forfeited is an allegation. It was alleged to have stolen uh, 23 billion. It the, has not been proved. The law, but sir. he now the says, law, I did not steal 23 billion, but I am guilty of an offense. Which and offense? Which I thought offense? it was the same offense that was in court. Exactly. You yes. cannot say, excuse no, me, sir. You, if you, you allow the me to speak The problem is that you don't know how the system can you, runs. Can you let me speak that's for one thing. minute? That's why he said that that's initially. That's more than 30 minutes. <laughs> that's why he said initially <laughs> that this <laughs> law is an ass. Yeah, okay, no, sorry, man. So, let, let me just finish. But when the CBN now let, wake up, excuse CBN me, is not court of law. Excuse me, please. Okay, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's not a court of law. Excuse me. You know, that's exactly what I'm saying. See, what what he hasn't actually said exactly how that law prevents people from doing what? He has only said, well, okay, the law says declare your interest. If you declare your interest, you are clean. If you don't declare your interest, then you are guilty, right? But you are guilty to the extent that you have to go through a court process. Um, and then, of course, the, ju the judge will give it. Uh, now, the, that you are going to go through that judge court process does not mean that the court will actually give you the maximum sentence as prescribed by the by law. The law. Yeah. And exactly. that's, you see, uh, we are here to refine that law. Because as practitioners in the industry, we have seen loopholes. Number one, if an MD declares in a team where you have directors who are his people, if you have, in the time we used to have, you know, chairmen of banks who are also the CEOs of banks, all the people there are subservient to him. If he says, look, I'm interested in this, I'm interested in it, there's nothing anyone can do. The whole idea about saying he should declare is in a view to have dissenting opinions from amongst the directors or the members of that credit committee. Yeah. Now, in, the, in a scenario where you are the ones that are appointed, and in truth is this, whether you like it or not, the MDs of the banks are still that powerful today. That even if they declare their interest, nobody will say anything. The chairmen of banks are still powerful today. If they declare in their interest, it doesn't mean anything. When you go to the court of law, what usually happens is what? Lawyering and not justice. The lawyers mm -hmm. have been making huge amount of money in this country <laughs> in the past 14 years. They take both sides of the law. The gentleman lawyer who was pleading on behalf of this pension guy yesterday said, oh, please temper justice with mercy because it's a breadwinner to his family and to a lot of people. Who is not a breadwinner? The pensioners who he took the money from are not breadwinners. Of course, you can see the way the, 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 the judgment went. So we're not interested in lawyering. We're interested in what? In justice. However, you see, if in order to get that justice, you can, 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 what we're talking about is risk management. You can manage the risk so that to a large extent, you don't even have to fall to that point where everything goes to the law courts. Okay, just one last question because our time is almost up. Is, Lawyers are interested is, in making the money <laughs> from both sides. That's is, it. You know, is, and I'm not ready to argue with the no, 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 no. As, as, as a layman, as a layman, you're not a lawyer, but as someone who, is a, who was a banker, do you think the managing director, of, in looking at Access Bank issue, do you think the managing director of Access Bank is liable? You need to know the details. Well, of course, being the one, being the, being chief, the chief executive, executive who may bank. have, yes. But I can't pass a judgment from where I, I sit. Understand? I can't pass a judgment from where I sit. It seems as if he will actually be, be culpable, culpable because yeah. for that amount of money to have been disbursed, the MD needs to be in the picture.